Does guilt serve any positive purpose at all, or is it just a totally useless emotion? I'm Patrick Wannis, human behavior and relationship expert, PhD, author of Get Over Your Ex Now. Recently, I came across a social media post where one person wrote, guilt is the most completely useless emotion in the entire universe. Now, this is an extraordinary exaggeration and an extraordinary statement. Does guilt have any positive purpose? Yes, it does. Guilt is our guide, it's our compass, it's our conscience. We need to experience some guilt so that we don't keep hurting the people around us. If it weren't for guilt, we would keep hurting the people around us. The problem is when guilt overwhelms us or overpowers us or simply takes control of us. Do you know who I'm talking about? Maybe you or someone you know that's still carrying around guilt from years and years ago or even decades ago. The problem with that type of guilt is that it's now controlling you. You see, if you feel guilty, you most likely punish yourself and you'll sabotage your life. If, however, you feel some guilt and you respond and react accordingly, appropriately and in proportion to the action, then you can learn from the behavior, you can sort out the relationship, you can make amends, and then you can behave better in the future. You can respond better in each situation. So again, we need to be careful of these extremes. Extremes that say guilt serves no purpose at all. And the other extreme where a lot of religions want you to constantly feel guilty and constantly feel bad, inferior, worthless, and inadequate. I teach seek the balance, seek harmony. When is it appropriate to feel guilt? Is it appropriate to feel guilty in this situation because you actually did do something wrong to someone else? And number two, how are you gonna to respond to this guilt? What action are you gonna to take to make amends? And then what are you gonna learn from this? Learn from what's just happened so that you don't keep hurting other people or you don't repeat the mistake and you can actually do better in the future. If you'd like to learn more about guilt and also shame, I've written, in fact, three chapters in my new audiobook and program, Get Over Your Ex Now. There's a huge difference between guilt and shame, and I actually teach you how to let go of both guilt and shame at patrickwallace.com.